What's up everyone? Happy Friday and thanks for joining us on Cronkite Sports Now. We've got you covered with everything sports that you need to know heading into the weekend. Let's get things started. Today on Cronkite Sports Now, the Suns and Sun Devils ball out at home, a new pioneer under center at Pinnacle, and a local fighter's fate leads her to the octagon. These stories and more coming your way on Cronkite Sports Now. Well, we've got another busy weekend ahead for Arizona sports. I'm your host, Stephanie Bates. Let's start with the Sun Devils men's basketball team's first game and win at home this season. The Sun Devils dominated Central Connecticut State from the tip-off last night, winning 90-49. to ASU freshman Jalen House came off the bench, contributing 14 points, 5 assists, and 4 rebounds in the ASU victory. Our Rob Werner caught up with Jalen's father, Sun Devil alum and NBA champion Eddie House, to get his take on the home opener. It was good to see the team get a win uh, after going over to China and taking that L. Uh, you know, they were in the game and then they end up losing a 12-2 run right there at the end and, and losing a game that they could have possibly won. So, see, the, see them to get that victory was real big for me as far as the team. But Jalen played well in the second half. I think he looked more like himself. You know, finding ways offensively that he could help the team. Jalen will look to help his team further when the Sun Devils host the Ryder Bronx on Sunday. Tip-off is at 4 p.m. The Suns bounce back from Tuesday's, lo Tuesday's loss to LeBron and the Lakers with a 128-112 win over the Hawks at home last night. Kelly Oubre Jr. had a team and career high with 30 points and has felt welcomed in his short time in the Valley. Oh, it's crazy, man. It actually is crazy to think about, but the city, you know, the way they embrace me, I feel like I've been here my whole life, so it's a blessing. As we look towards this weekend's slate of football, tis the season to be thankful. And 22-year-old Cardinals quarterback Kyler Murray took some time to reflect on his journey and what he's thankful for in his first season. I think it's, you know, everything I, you know, dreamt of, you know, where I thought I'd be at this point in my life. Uh, but it's kind of crazy that it's actually happening, you know. Uh, but, I mean, hard work, you know, you work hard, you know, get what you put in. So, um, had a lot of great people around me, influential people to help me get where I'm at. So, um, you know, I'm not, I didn't just get here by myself, but at the same time, and it's, it's pretty, obviously it's good when you work for, you know, what you get. The Cards will face the no longer undefeated San Francisco 49ers on Sunday. The Niners lost to the Seahawks in overtime on Monday, and now the Cards will get a chance to upset their division rival and take what they learned from their three-point loss to them on Halloween. Now, staying on the football field, just two weeks ago, Pinnacle quarterback J.D. Johnson was forced to medically retire because of a rare heart condition. Since then, freshman Devin Dampier has taken over duties under center for the Pioneers. Dampier is coming off his first career start against Boulder Creek, a game, won, a game Pinnacle won by 52 points. In that game, he completed almost 70% of his passes for 198 yards and four touchdowns, with another score coming on the ground. The stats, like Dampier's play, were impressive, and the Pinnacle quarterback looks to lean on J.D. for help as they head toward the playoffs. He's helped me a lot. He's helped me through every practice. He's been there on the sideline during the game. He's always telling me what I can do better, what I did good. He's, he's just always a positive role model, so I love him for that. Dampier, with a win under his belt, will look to keep Pinnacle rolling as they head into their first playoff game against Sal Point Catholic tonight. UFC Fight Night 164 takes place tomorrow evening in Sao Paulo, Brazil. And if you tune in, you're guaranteed to see a familiar Phoenix face. Cronkite News reporter Mackenzie Pavicic joins us in the studio to tell us a little bit more about Tracy Cortez. That's right. I got the chance to catch up with the new UFC's newest contender, Tracy Cortez, ahead of her UFC debut this weekend. Within the chain links of an MMA cage is a hostile environment. But for many, it's also a place of honor. And for Phoenix native Tracy Cortez, it was the last place she expected to end up. I didn't start MMA wanting it to be a career. It kind of just happened. And it happened thanks to three older brothers who were all wrestlers, then fighters. But at first, they weren't on board. They didn't want me to wrestle because the woman should be at home, not out, and like I should be in the kitchen. <laughs> So from a young age, Cortez has been defying what should be and defining who and what she is. Oh, she was a fighter from day one. I think it was just her destiny. I really truly believe that because of, you know, the timing that she did become an MMA fighter was falling under her older brother's footsteps. Watching my brother, when I tell you he was 
He is my hero. He's the strongest human being. Tracy was just 14 years old when she watched her oldest brother Jose take down UFC veteran Drew Fickett in an octagon just like this. Now 11 years later, almost to the day, Cortez gets to make her long-awaited UFC debut. But the road to this point has been filled with the unthinkable. Less than three years after the night that inspired her MMA career, Cortez lost her brother Jose to cancer. Five years after that, she lost her mother to the same fate. And the heartache didn't end there. For years, Cortez says she felt lost in the pursuit of her destiny. If I can go back and tell that little girl that everything was gonna be okay, Everything happens for a reason. That reason, living out her brother's dream of fighting in the UFC. What I'm doing is really for them and their memory. I, I want to get my hand raised in that cage because honestly, they believed in me so much more than to this day than I believe in myself. When someone's gone through what she's gone through through her whole life, I mean, what, what, what can the world throw at her that she can't conquer? In Tracy's corner stands her brother Reyes, her coach and Jose's best friend Angel, and the memory of her family. She carries them everywhere she goes. I see her brother in her, her mom. I feel like it's my job to make sure that, you know, she doesn't fall. And if she does, you know, pick her back up and keep going. As she keeps going, Cortez also hopes to inspire other women to achieve whatever it is they want to do, despite what the world sees at first glance. I want people to see me for my craft. I want people to know, dang, she's a hard worker. I want other females to see you can work hard, you can be beautiful, you can get your hands dirty, and it pays off. In Scottsdale, I'm Mackenzie Pavisic, Cronkite News. Mackenzie, that is such an inspirational story. Yeah, it was really an honor to get to tell it. And something that really stands out to me is the added challenge that Tracy has just accepted this weekend. She was signed at the end of the July to the UFC, and now in the middle of November, she's taking her first fight on short notice in a foreign country and at a weight that she normally does not fight. She moved up. Um, it's been reported by multiple sources that both Tracy and her opponent weighed in half a pound heavy this morning, but neither of them will face a fine and the fight will continue on. Wow, well, if you want to catch Cortez tomorrow, you can stream the preliminary card starting at 3 p.m. Arizona time on ESPN+. Well, that's a wrap on this Friday edition of Cronkite Sports Now. For Arizona sports stories from around the valley, visit the Cronkite Sports tab on ArizonaSports.com. And as always, for top Arizona news stories, head on over to our website at cronkitenews.azpbs.org. And be sure to tune in tonight at 5 p.m. on Arizona PBS for our nightly newscast. On behalf of the entire Cronkite Sports Now crew, thanks so much for joining us. Enjoy your weekend, and we will see you back here on Monday, same time, same place.